In this quick tip, we're going to go over how to design a grill tag to demonstrate one functionality of the either or and also to explain how to use the custom field type. We're going to use that for the CFM parameters of the grill. We have here a round neck grill and a rectangular neck grill. And what we want the tag to display is we want one tag that if we click on the round neck grill shows the diameter of the round neck, the model number, and the CFM. And if we click on the rectangular neck grill, it shows the width and length of the neck plus the model number and CFM. So it's going to be either round diameter or a width by depth tag for the neck. To design this, we're going to go into the library icon on the Practicad ribbon. And we're going to come over to the left where it says documentation. We're going to open up documentation. We're going to open up tag. And then we're going to go to the custom tag and open that up here. Now what we're going to do is click on the word custom and then in the browser it's going to open up the create a new item green checkbox and we're going to click on it and at that time Practicad is going to prompt us to choose an icon and we're just going to grab one of these diameter icons out of the Practicad graphic database. We're going to hit open and now we have an icon there and now what we're going to do is give it a name. We're just going to call it the GRD tag and then we're going to hit enter. It's always good to hit enter to make sure the Practicad accepts the name you've given a specific entity. Now what we're going to do is we're going to open up our browser and we're going to start designing the tag. This is going to be a three-tiered tag. We actually want to make fields 1A, 2A, and 3A. And in field 1A, we're going to first want to utilize the parameter model. Model is a parameter in the item box that we can type in the model on the fly. And in your Practicad default, model is the parameter on those tags. So what we're going to do is we need to go to property and first things first we need to make sure that we have the proper properties here and currently this window is blank and the reason is we have not chosen a target yet. So what we're going to do is click on architecturals. When we do that Practicad is going to fill the property up with all of the properties for architecturals. And if we hit M you can scroll down one of those properties happens to be model name. We're going to hit model and then we're going to hit ampersand. Now we want this to be aligned in the center. Alignment becomes important when you're designing multiple fields. So we're going to say let's align this in the center. So we do center alignment. We don't need any field type because simply it's just going to display exactly whatever we put in the model field. We're going to freely type into that field. So generally we could turn this to no units but even if you leave it on length or angle the format and precision is not going to affect what you put there. So we're just going to leave it as field 1A, property model, center align. Now what we're going to do is we're going to have in the field 2A, we're going to have the neck. And here we're going to get into the either or. We either want to see the neck width by the neck length, or we want to see the diameter with a little diameter symbol. So what we need to do here is use the either or function. You could utilize an if then else function too. However, this is a great spot for the either or because it's either going to be a round neck grill or a rectangular neck grill. There's only two choices. So we're going to say function either or and we're going to hit the ampersand to put it into our, our field. And now we're going to make the first expression which is what we're going to show first and then we hit a comma and then what we do is we show what we want to display if the first option or statement we put in there doesn't exist. So first we're going to say we'd like to see the property and we're going to hit N and go to neck width and that's the property for the neck width of the rectangular neck grill. We're going to hit the ampersand and now we're going to hit the little plus key because we're going to combine property with text. Anytime we combine a property with text field we must use the little plus key to separate them or the tag will not work. Now what we're going to do is say neck width plus and when in text we're going to put the little X because we want to see a small X. We're going to hit the ampersand to enter it in the expression and then we're going to hit the plus key again because we're going to combine a text field with a property field and we're going to say by neck depth and what we're going to do is look for the neck depth or actually it's called neck length is the property we'd like to use here. So we're going to say neck length. So it's neck width by neck length and those are the properties in the ACAD property box for the rec neck grills. So that is what we'd like to see first. Now we're going to hit comma. That's basically our either expression. Now we hit comma 
Now we got to give the OR expression. What do we show if these parameters don't exist? Well, what we want to see here is the neck diameter. So we're going to go look for the property neck diameter, and it happens to be listed right here. And we're now going to hit the ampersand to put it in the field. And now we'd like to see the little diameter symbol. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit the plus key because once again, we're going to combine the property of neck diameter with text. And we're going to go back into the character map and we're going to copy the diameter symbol. Now you could also do percent percent C, which is one of the AutoCAD symbols, but you have to be careful when you do that. It is possible that PractiCAD or AutoCAD might report percent percent C as text. So it is recommended and it's better off to just grab the diameter from the diameter symbol right out of the character map. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go into our character map, which is located once again underneath your accessories, system tools. You go to start, all programs, accessories, system tools, and you look for your character map. And what we're going to do here is we're going to do a search feature. We're actually going to say, let's search for, and we're going to type in diameter. And we're going to hit reset. And now what we're going to do is we're going to get the diameter symbol. So we're going to click on diameter. And we're going to make sure that we've got nothing listed under characters to copy. We're going to take that diameter symbol and we're going to hit select. So now we've got the diameter symbol and we're going to hit copy. Now that it's copied, all we need to do is come into the text field. We're going to right click. We're going to hit paste. And that's going to put in the diameter symbol right there. Now all we need to do is hit the ampersand, enter it at the expression, and now we're ready to go. So for this, we're going to say field type is going to be length. And we're going to want a neck width, a neck length. It's going to be whole numbers. You can use fraction or you can use decimal. In this particular tutorial, we're going to say use decimal. And we're going to say zero as a precision. Once again, for this field, we need to center the alignment. So we've got the... Field 2A centered, we have the either or expression already built. It's going to show the neck width by the neck length or the neck diameter with the diameter symbol. And now we're going to come to our last field. And the last field is going to be the CFM. Now CFM is reported in our software as the property airflow. So if you come over to property and you hit A, you're going to see the second one on the list currently happens to be airflow. And that's where we type in the CFM, like 200 or 100. It's under the property airflow. So we're going to say we want to report the airflow. Now what we're going to do is say, first we want to see the reported airflow. And then we're going to hit the plus key. And we're going to say after that, we'd like to see the letters CFM. And here what we'll do is we'll capitalize them. So we want to see airflow. And then we want to see CFM. And actually what we're going to do is we're going to change it. We're going to say, let's see, space CFM. So we're going to put a space in here too. So space CFM, we're going to put it into our field. It's all in the expression. We're going to center it. Now what we're going to do is we're going to run this tag using the field type length. And we're going to set it on decimal to show you what happens. This particular tag will require the custom field type because CFM is dictated as cubic feet per minute, which is volume over time. And the length field will not work. If you try to build this tag utilizing the length field, we're going to show you exactly what it's going to do. We're going to hit save. We're going to drag the GRD tag. We click on it. We always drag from the browser over. And we're going to drag it into our bin and drop it here. And now we're going to close. And we're going to try to see this tag, what we've got so far. So we're going to click on the GRD tag. We're going to click, and then we're going to place the tag down on the rect, the round neck grill. And then what we're going to do is we're going to click, and we're going to place it for the rect neck grill. Now, you'll notice that currently it is showing a very long CFM here. We've got the diameter and the model we haven't given, but we can click on both of these grills now. We're going to go to properties, and we'll put in a model Right here, we're just going to put in model ABC123, ABC-123. And you can see that you can globally edit these, and, and the tag is working. The model parameter is working. You can see the either or happens to be working. We've got 12-inch diameter or 12 by 12. That's correct. But you can see here, if we click on the round neck, our airflow is 200. Obviously, the airflow for the rec neck is zero, but it's not displaying it right. And the reason why is airflow is dictated 
by cubic feet per minute, which means we need to adjust our field type to account for cubic feet per minute. So the way to do that, we're going to delete these two tags. We're going to go back into the library icon. We're going to modify this tag. Notice that Practicat always remembers the last place in your browser you were. So we're right back where we started. We're going to double click on field 3A. And right here under field type, we got to change the field type so we can use the correct format and precision. And in this particular case, we need to use custom. We're going to go to custom. When you use custom, you're going to notice that Practicat is going to open up a format. And you're going to have here a drop down menu. And you can choose from the following different formats. And we need to express this particular tag in terms of volume over time. Volume over time. And then we need to say for volume, the tag should be represented by cubic feet. And right here when it says feet and you've got a little i, that means cubic feet. The little i's represent the cube. We're going to hit feet. And then we're going to come over here and we're going to say per minute. You got time, second minute, hour. CFM is cubic feet per minute. So we must use the correct format. Once we do that, then we can choose a precision. Here we're just going to say zero, but you can see you can go down to different decimal places. But what we've done is we've created the custom field type. Format is volume over time, which is going to be represented by cubic feet per minute. Now what we do is we save and we exit out and we're going to run the exact same tag. So here what we're going to do is we're going to click on GRD tag. We click here. Now you can see it's 200 CFM. And of course if we click here. We don't have a CFM yet, but we're going to click on the rec neck grill. We're going to go to the airflow and type in 150. And you can see now that the tag is correct. So that is how to use the custom field type to get the proper format and precision when you're dealing with a airflow cubic feet per minute. You can use that for any tag in the software depending upon what type of format and precision you need. So that'll conclude the tutorial on designing the grill tags.